Welcome back to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain, and I know many of you are new or newer to crypto. You haven't been here during a massive bull run, and this is your first. So there's no better place to be than right here, right now. But I did want to share with you exactly what parabolic moves look like, and we're going to see lots of them in the coming months. And I'm going to share with you how to make the most from the many parabolic moves that will be coming. At the end, I will also share a gem with you that I think from its current market cap could go 1000x from here and I'll share with you why. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Join me, Rainmakers. All right. Let's get this party started. Let's talk about rule number one. And rule number one is we don't chase green candles. You are ideally looking for solid projects in narratives that haven't pumped yet. Now let me share with you one that has gone parabolic so we can identify exactly what parabolic moves look, look like. So let's look together at Phantom. And here I'm looking at Phantom on trading view. And if you see this nice parabolic move here. And so the ideal time to be in Phantom was getting it sometime in the crypto winter, even all the way up till the beginning of this year, you could have got it at two cents. Now that opportunity is done and gone. Can you still make money from Phantom from here? Absolutely you can. I'm not holding any Phantom currently. I have made some good money from Phantom. I have rolled that into other things and let me share with you what this likely ends up looking like now from the current price that it's at of three dollars does it have more room that's going to run here yes yes and yes and it might even continue going up to about six dollars and i use the word might because on these parabolic moves you don't know where the top is sometimes you can get a feel for it if you use this tool and i recommend you use this tool a lot this is called the fibonacci retracement and sometimes it tells you where things will run to. Now, if you look from the previous run that it had in the high, the Fibonacci extension levels, isn't it interesting that it slowed some momentum right around the 1.618. It's then taken off. And so if I had still been holding it, then this would have been my exit points that I would have sold some off here. I would have sold some off here. And I might be holding a bag all the way up till here. Now it could end up going higher, but it's a little bit like walking on thin ice. And you know that as you walk out further, the ice gets thinner and you don't know where exactly you're gonna break through. So one of the things that I did wrong in 2017 was I didn't understand anything about this. So I would see these big green candles going on and even though I had been in investment real estate for 20 years and I knew I shouldn't be chasing green candles i still did a little bit and what often happens is you buy right after a big pump like this one and then it retraces on you and if you look at the end of this pump it ended about 9th september and then it retraced quite a bit and it didn't surpass where it was at for a full month and then it went ahead it retraced back to right where you bought it at before it then climbed higher so for a month and a half you were stuck in something it's better to buy on a retracement which rules uh, or takes us to rule number two if you are going to chase green candles you're looking to buy on pullbacks we're going to look at this very nice pullback from solana and you're looking for these nice accumulation zones see solana had this nice run up here too and then solana's chain it is fairly new it's fairly untested with the type of transactions had massive transaction volume coming in as well as probably some hackers trying to hack it and they had to shut it down for a day it's really not a big issue in my book but it created some fear and concern so after having this massive run that took it all the way up to 216 dollars it then went and retraced and if you bought anywhere in here you're ending up then holding it and having to be patient 
Now, what's frustrating about this is when you're brand new, patience is hard because you end up buying something and say you bought it for $210, it's then retraced on you all the way down to $135 and you're seeing other things running up and you're tempted to sell this one at a loss to chase right into that next one. That is a recipe that many follow and though crypto is going to do phenomenal things during the next three months, if you play it wrong, you could actually lose money while the rest of the market is going up around you. That's why these rules really help you get it right. All right. So if you see this nice retracement, let me share with you this Fibonacci retracement tool. And see, you don't always know where the top is going to be. So if you decide, I really want to get some Solana, what you're waiting is for the market to tell you where the top is. From that top, you can then put your Fibonacci retracement tool in and you can decide whether where you're going to put your buy levels. Now, I'm taking it all the way to the top of the wick. Sometimes you can take it to somewhere where there's a little bit more depth and then you decide, okay... 38.2, that's going to be where my buy zone is. And sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll come down to the 0.5 buy level or the 61.8. And so you're looking for a nice retracement to buy and then it will continue its run from there. Does Solana have plenty of room to run from here? It does. It, it could go up 3x, 4x, 5x. If we're really lucky, it could go up 10x from here. I'm using Solana because it's such a good example, and there is a lot of momentum during this bull run for Solana. It's getting a lot of acceptance from everyone. It's getting a lot of market ef uh, effects as more, it grabs more market share overall, and it gets these network effects from it grabbing so much market share. I want to share with you also rule number three. If you are going to take some bigger risks, and you're going to take them on, say, small cap altcoins like I do, putting in your positions early is helpful. So in this one, you're already chasing some gains, which is okay if you buy it on a retracement, but it's not as ideal as if you had bought it back here when we were charting it much earlier, and then we recognize this break up. So from here, where we saw this break up, you could have bought it for about $35.00 and it's gone about 6x from there. So now, I mean, you can't rewind time. You can't go back to July and buy it from back there. But there are ones that haven't broken out yet. And one of the ones I'm really following is Soul Bank. Now, Soul Bank is a fairly newer token. It is fairly unknown. It's one of the new gems on the Solana ecosystem. I've talked about it a couple times because I like this one. So if you think about some of the downsides of crypto is that you do have a blockchain. Now, why would that be a downside? Think about if you had your bank account and you had every transaction on your bank account out there for everyone to be able to see. Well, sometimes you just don't want that to be the case. There's sometimes transactions you want to make that even ones that aren't criminal or anything, you just don't want to be private. What if you're buying your wife a birthday present? You don't want her to be able to see that transaction. Like maybe you buy it a month in advance or something. You don't want to be able to see her, see it till you give her the present. And there's lots of very valid reasons to want your transactions to be private. Well, the problem with an immutable blockchain is your transactions are public. And so there are different privacy solutions in the crypto sphere. What I like about SolBank is it's on the Solana ecosystem. And essentially, they'll have a Solana wallet, a SolBank wallet, that you can choose any of your transactions to make private. So nobody really knows about that transaction. I think... That will do really well. And I saw in 2017 and 2018 that privacy solutions had their own takeoffs, their big runs. And so as people get focused on privacy, sometimes everything in the privacy sector would have some massive runs. So let's look at SolBank overall. The token, it, it really doesn't show us the price on CoinGecko, and that's why I'm using Radium here. So the price is right about five cents and we'll just round it up to five cents. Now, I know a little bit about this token and that there's 60 million total tokens. So if all of those were in circulation at a price of five cents, that gives us a total market cap of three million dollars. That is an extremely low market cap, but it gets even better because 
I'm certain not 100% of these tokens are in supply. In fact, my guess is it's probably around 10 or 20%. So let's just say it's 20% of the total tokens are actually going to be in supply in say the coming five or six months. That would put its real market cap at about $500,000. Now that gets really exciting. In fact, did I do that math right? 3 million to about 500,000 might be if 20% are gonna be in circulation, that would be about 600,000 as their market cap right now. If it's gonna be 50% of its total circulating supply would be in circulation in the coming six months, then we could think about it as a market cap of one and a half million. Here's a website and their roadmap is down here, milestone. So they're going to be having version 2.0 out soon and their DAP release on Solana's mainnet in Q4. So that's what we're looking forward to. Um, could this go belly up? Absolutely it could. Am I taking this bet? Absolutely. I feel like the chances that it does really well from here are very high. The chances that it goes belly up at this point are really low. And so I have filled up my bags very much on this one. I'm a huge believer in it. In fact, as it's come down to these this nice rounded bottom here, it's been a very attractive pickup for me, and I am very much loaded up on this one. Now, where can you get it? Radium. So Radium, that's R-A-Y-D-I-U-M dot I-O is the swap that many of us use on the Solana blockchain. You will have to get a Phantom wallet. That's Phantom with a PH. Uh, and store off your private keys. You'll have to then fund that wallet with some Solana. So right now it's a little bit hard to get. That's a big part of the reason why the market cap has stayed so low is in order to get it, you have to get a phantom wallet, which is a new thing to do. You have to come to Radium, which is the swap or the DEX that many are using on the Solana ecosystem right now. And then you can get yourself some Solbank. Now, when you first come to Radium, you're not going to be able to find soul bank directly so uh, what i do is i go to coin gecko and i copy this contract address and then if you go to radium and you paste it in here it'll pull it up here and then it'll allow you to add the token because i've already added it it's not showing it here so then you'll be able to swap and get you some soul bank if you're looking to pick it up now do note this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto investor myself. Now in the past four years, I've gone from thousands of dollars to millions of dollars myself. And I do know that the way I think about things is what's led me to great success. And that's what I'm sharing with you on my YouTube channel. While we're here, let's take a little bit of a look at overall how things are going. Now, Bitcoin is usually the canary in the coal mine that as it takes off, it signals that the rest of the market is going to follow soon. So Bitcoin, we are seeing absolutely taking off. It broke previous all-time highs. In fact, I have the line put here because it, it broke up way high, but this seemed to be a real resistance line. It broke right back down below it, came back up and tested this. So here we see it broke up this past this resistance line and then it broke way higher but it came back retested this massive resistance line and it's broken higher again and my guess is we put in the low and that we're not going to see this price again for six uh, maybe anywhere from four to six months that bitcoin from here is going to be going crazy it's possible that it goes anywhere between 180,000 up to 300,000 in the coming couple months so as Bitcoin takes off, that's going to move massive amounts of money that's going to flow in. And then that, those massive amounts of money are then going to flow into some of the blue chip altcoins. Those are the ones with the larger market cap. And then they will flow into the micro cap coins or the smaller altcoins. Soul Bank being one of those micro cap coins. And imagine if Soul Bank, whose market cap, we could say in the next six months that they had 50% of their supply and circulation. That would mean their market cap right now at current price is one and a half million. Could something like that go to one and a half billion? It could. It could. Now, will it? I suspect it might. That's why I'm placing big bets on it. Now, I will be taking profits on it as it races towards that point because I don't know if it'll get all the way there. 
but that's the high point of where I see it going. And so as it races there, I'll be taking profits. Now you can see some of my videos. In fact, I just recorded one this last week on taking profits. So you can understand how experts take profits on the way up. That is something I did wrong in 2017 when everyone told me, oh, the crypto is going to take over the world and it's just going to go crazy from here and we're never going to have another crypto winter and a big pullback. Well, they ended up being wrong there. I didn't know it yet because I wasn't around in 2013, but I later learned that they said the same things in the bull run of 2013. And I'm already hearing some say that in this bull run, that it will just keep running up forever and it will never pull back. Well, it will, and it does. Now, I wanted to share with you that if you're appreciating this content, could you give us a like? If the content sucks, though, be sure to hit that thumbs down button and put in the comments below exactly what sucked about it. Now, again, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm just a crypto investor myself. With that said, I came here for some massive gains and for life-changing wealth, but I'm interested in hearing why you came here. Is it life-changing wealth or money yourself? Is it life-changing money? Is my good friend from high school is here because, honestly, he's really attracted to a certain demographic that isn't high in this country, so he's going to move to another country entirely, and crypto is going to help him get there. Or are you here because you're really into cars and you want that really expensive Lambo, you want that nice Bugatti, what is it? If you're here to level up your crypto game, join us through subscribing as we get into how to analyze projects in the same ways that turned my portfolio from thousands to millions. And the system that I shared that worked for me will work for you, but before it can, you have to understand it and how to look for these undervalued projects. And that comes through joining us on a daily basis. If you give this video at least a 7 out of 10, hit that like button. If the video sucked and was a 6 out of 10 or less, pound that dislike button. Now let me get into the giveaways that are coming. I promised you when I started this channel that I would look for ways to keep this interesting even in the bear market. Well, one of those ways is through giveaways. And as this channel has grown, thanks to all of you, it's given me some power to go out there and secure some great giveaways for you. Now, if you'll help me grow this channel, and an easy way that you can help me grow this channel is when you see a video that you really like, if you share it with some friends on Twitter, that is a great way to help this channel grow because the larger you help me get my subscriber count, the more power I have to go out there and get amazing giveaways for you. But let me share with you some super exciting giveaways that we have already this week. First, We've got, I did go ahead and secure some castles with Pocket Arena. So we're doing a joint giveaway with them, and it's a Gleam competition or campaign. And we will be announcing the details of it this week in our Telegram channel. So if you haven't joined our Telegram channel, join that below. If you haven't downloaded Telegram, it's something we in crypto use all the time for communicating. So it might be a good time for you to go ahead and get it because some of our campaigns, some of our giveaways will be run through Telegram. And this one, you'll be able to get the full details there. Also follow me on Twitter at CryptoRain with two N's. That's at CryptoRain with two N's at the very end. And I will probably copy the announcement there as well. But for sure, I'll be running it through the Telegram chat. Now, this is Pocket Arena, and I've talked about them in the past. They're one of my picks on the gaming altcoins that'll do really well. Now, we've all played castle defense games on our phone and they're a lot of fun, but they have incorporated crypto with them and they've incorporated these castles. And the cool thing about these castles is many that come in and play, they don't have the money to buy them so they can rent them from other players. So if you have one, there's a huge advantage, not only for your own play, but some opportunities for passive income for you. So I went ahead and fronted the money to purchase four of these for these giveaways, which is great because they're not even currently selling them. And so this is a special opportunity because you've helped me grow these cha this channel. I was able to secure this for you and go ahead and front the money so that we have the four for these giveaways. So join our Telegram community. We also are running competition this week for some Shaquille O'Neal Ethernet chain NFTs. Now, if you look at the market price, the lowest ask one is $353. We'll be giving away four of these. So join our Telegram community below because that's where the details on this will be shared. Also, 
we just currently passed 20,000 subscribers. So thank you to all of you who have been with us and joined us on this journey and that you like every single one of my videos. That helps the YouTube algorithm push it out to share how I think about things with other people. Now, you've probably noticed if you watch YouTube, there's some very entertaining people on YouTube, but most of them do not have backgrounds in investing. And hopefully you get the feel from this channel as you watch it that you get a different feel like an investor type of feel from it. An investor is what I've been for 24 years. And so I found when I was trying to learn on crypto, I assumed that because somebody had a YouTube channel, they knew what they were talking about. Sadly, I found that was not true and that I had to glean little bits of news from them. But most of the people that I was following really didn't understand investing. It's okay. I had had a big background in it. I had to put these rules together for myself that helped me do really well. And so when I started this channel a year ago, one of the things I wanted to give you was a perspective on how an investor thinks about things. So I, if you like this type of content, if you help me share it out and help me grow this channel so that we can share with as many people as possible how we think about in, as investors, because this helps us grow. And as we grow, I'm able to get better and better things for you. So our other giveaway that we'll be doing is we round the corner at 25,000 total subscribers up to 30,000 subscribers is I went ahead and fronted the money for some initial DEX offerings on these two that most of you won't even be able to get into because they're highly oversubscribed. And that's Cortex and Fidera. And so we secured five $200 IDO 401j giveaways. Now the 401j's is essentially in the US where I went to the university. They have these things in the US called 401k's and they're savings vehicles towards your retirement. So we thought we'd make a fun play off of that, call them 401j's. So we have five 401j's of each of these projects. And in each 401j is $200 of their token at the IDO price. So if you think about it from the IDO, if these over the coming six months do a thousand X or even say a hundred X, they'll go from two, uh, $200 all the way to $20,000 in value. Now that's not enough to retire you. That is enough to be a huge supplement on top of what you're already doing in your returns in crypto. So stay tuned. We'll be giving out the details with these. If you want to help us get there, if you take the videos from us that you really like and you share them out in Twitter and Telegram with other people, and it, that will help our channel grow tremendously and it's something you can do to help grow our Rainmaker family. Now, it's time for our Rainmaker family wrap to reinforce the principles that help us make better decisions and help us towards the most successful and informed audience in all of crypto. Thank you much. Came into the space, chasing all of the games, chasing yeah. the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh, you yeah. buy before you good. Was taught to buy when it was boring, like a rainmaker should. I buy when it's down, don't chase the boats that I miss, uh, because I always made the time in mind. I sit the one out, cause I'm patient like that, and I'll wait for the right time. I sell when it's high, I buy when it's low. They call me rich, they call me smart. I'm just a rainmaker running the show. Calculated investments, I don't leave with my heart. The principles are simple, they're leaving a mark. Why when it's boring, just gotta be smart. I sell when it's high, like all the channels they pump it. That's when I was selling, got parabolic and dump it. They call me rich, they call me smart. I'm a rainmaker, making my own start. I'm with the future, learning the past. Makes the time fly by, years going so fast. The game plan is mine. I'll own it now when I reach the top. Haters asking me how. Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love. And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck. Uh, the time is never better. The time like the present is next. Five years is a gift and a feeling like heaven. I'm committed to learn. Studying to know that nothing comes easy, but when knowledge you gain, show sticking out this one because soon will come a bear market. Learning and growing, and when it's slow, would be the target. They say it's come out, Bitcoin is dead. The massive decreases can get to your head. I'm sticking around, the time is better. I'm strong like that, I'll let the others be fretters. In two years' time, the ball will bring back the gains that makes it worth the effort because here comes the rain. So let's go, rain makers, let's make it all happen. The goal with the hate, they the haters be crapping. I'm here for five years, let's do this together. 
The time is right, the time could be better They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own start I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast This game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, haters asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Haters be hating, but time to slow down Addressing what they say when I'm wearing my crown They're chasing green candles like someone who was new I got a vision that was bigger, helping me to push through I'm still human and sometimes it is rough And that's what makes me special, simply I stay tough Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh.